This video is powered by Swarovski Optic, the world leader in premium sporting optics. This is our third and final video from Arica, Chile, where we came to search for the critically endangered Chilean wood star and meet the scientists who are trying desperately to save this little hummingbird from extinction. We're on our way to the Micro Reserve Monumento Natural Picoflor de Arica, which is the Spanish name for the bird. Their goal is to gather the remaining population of Chilean wood stars into protected areas. The females are easy. As long as you provide food, water, and a few other things, they will come and build their nests. But the males are difficult. They gather into an area called an exploded lek, where each male has a large territory to display. The females will wander from one male to another and choose their mate but the male's territory is ingrained and permanent in his mind, and he'll return to the same place year after year. They need them to come to a different place, and therein lies the challenge. So what we are trying to do here is to convince some of the males to come to a new place by creating a fake leg. I mean, it's an artificial leg that has some uh, artificial hummingbirds and males that are located in different branches and basically they serve as a decoy that will attract the, the young ones that uh, are looking for a place in which to establish. We also have this speaker here that uh, broadcasts the call of the bird. It is randomized so it emits it uh, I don't know, every couple of minutes or so and uh, what we're looking for is to see whether the other birds are going to come and uh, start establishing their territories around here. If we can do that then we will know that this is a tool that can be used to gather the population inside protected areas. Christian was telling me yesterday that these male birds are so set in their ways that he went several years into the established lek where, you know, one year there'd be five males, then four, then three, and down to one male that would just sit on top of the branch and there, the area was terrible. There was even garbage there and nothing to eat. So the bird would leave this place and go into a bean field to get food with the farmer spraying right next to the bird. So <laughs> these males are so set in their ways that they they want to stay thinking that all the females are going to still come. So the idea of this place is try to change the male's habit and attract him here where they can mate and be protected. Because if they can't do that, this, this bird's going to be gone. We were driving to check out a plot of land in the Vitor Valley, dedicated as another micro-reserve. This land has been designated by the Chilean government as a protected area. The vegetation here now is sparse, but plans are being made to plant trees and the flowers favored by the hummingbird. You can see that farms flourish nearby, so the land is fertile and can be planted. We're participating in the bird count. Well, basically we're observing the bird count. They do this every year to try to estimate the population. This is one of the very few remaining areas that is the natural landscape where the Chilean wood star likes to live and breed. There are some kind of flowers here that they feed on, and this is the kind of tree that the females nest in. So the team is also counting nests, and that helps them estimate the population. It's always heartbreaking to see eggs abandoned in a nest. There's never a guarantee that chicks are going to survive. We were so happy to see a female Chilean wood star on her nest, knowing that she's doing her job to keep the population going.
Carol. Um, we just finished the calculations for our population estimation and unfortunately the numbers don't look very good. We have estimated that there are a little over 300 individuals left, which is a very small population as you may think. Uh, this means that uh, since the early 2000s, uh, when we started monitoring this bird, uh, the population has declined in more than 80%. Uh, the Chilean woodstars are really tough little birds that have adapted to living in a very extreme environment, uh, but they cannot fight against habitat loss. And that's why the population is so uh, threatened right now. One example of that is the Asapa Valley in which uh, we had the largest concentration of wood stars at the beginning of the 2000s and now the, the species is extinct. Right now what we have to do is to secure the land uh, in order to preserve what's left of this species uh, and we also need to do some habitat restoration. We know the science already, we, we, we know what to do, but we don't have the resources to implement a much needed uh, recovery plan for this very unique bird. Thank you very much, Carol, for your uh, interest in this species.